ओके सी नेक्स्ट वी कैन हैव अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लोड ऑल्सो लाइक देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर एंड एल ओके देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर एंड सी एंड देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर एल एंड सी करेक्ट सो देर कैन बी द कॉम्बिनेशन and see one more thing there can't be the combination of l and c so write it down and like mark it cross always why there is a con there is not combination of l and c because inductor and capacitor does not consume power these are just imaginary loads so for consuming of power there must be presence of resistor only okay there is can be combination of l there can be combination of c why this is not the combination because inductor and capacitor form lc oscillation remember you have studied in the 12th class lc oscillation like inductor stores energy in the magnetic form and capacitor stores energy in the electrical form so they are inductor is giving energy to capacitor capacitor charges again capacitor is giving to energy to inductor like this it will form a like this so it will form a lc oscillation so we don't use this type kind of combination clear if there is a combination of these load then their resistance is known as impedance okay if we'll use r l r c r l c no if we'll use r l r c or and r l c then their combination is known as impedance and impedance is denoted by z okay impedance is denoted by z so we are having formula for z if there is a combination of r and l then we'll use z is equal to root of r square plus xl square if we'll use the combination of r and c then there is a formula z is equal to root of r square plus xc square if there is a combination of r l c then we'll use z is equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square okay whole square if xl is positive then xl minus xc if xc is positive xc minus xl but it is a square so you will get the same value right so this is the yeah this is the impedance i'll tell you also that like from where we'll get the formulas this formulas okay just now you need to remember <coughs> that impedance that is denoted by z if we are having the combination of load then we'll use instead of resistance then we'll use impedance okay and again it is the form of ampere resistance so its unit is ohms okay now what we can conclude that if there is a resistor we'll use resistance then the formula is v is equal to ir right if there is a inductor then we is you will we'll use xl there is a formula of v is equal to i into xl if there is a capacitor then in that case we'll use xc there is a formula for v is equal to i into xc if there is a combination of r and l load then we'll use impedance right so impedance formula is r square plus xl square then we'll use v is equal to i into z okay if there is a combination of r and c then again we'll use z here z formula is root of r square plus xc square then again we'll use instead of vir i z will use okay if there is a combination of r l and c okay then again we'll use z that is z is equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square again we'll use v is equal to i z all our impedance all our resistance so its unit is ohm understood now suppose we are having one question they said a coil <coughs> okay coil is always the combination of r and l okay so coil means r and l and now they have said it it is connected with an ac supply with a voltage of 230 volt and they have given 50 hertz frequency okay 
now they have given the value of r ten ohm and l that is three milli henry now in this we need to calculate current okay similar to the previous question which we had done but in that case that was inductor only but in this case there is a combination of resistor and inductor right yeah so again i formula is how much as in this case we'll use v is equal to i into z so i is equal to v by z v is 230 volt z we don't know right what is the formula for z <coughs> tell me right we know the value of s do we know the value of xl we need to calculate xl is how much 2 pi l Two we know, pi we know, frequency we know, L we know. We have to convert it into standard unit. Three into ten raised to power minus three Henry. Okay. So from here we'll get the value of XL, right? We can put the XL, and then we'll calculate Z. We'll put the value of Z here. Then after that we'll get the value of current in ampere. Clear?